guys so starting off we need a fresh face brows ready to go and eyelids primed and so i already have a brow tutorial okay stop dancing homie i already have a brow tutorial um so i'll leave the link down in my description box so let's go ahead and get on started so i'm going to be using this color sherbet from the anastasia beverly hills self-made palette to really buff in that crease and make sure you bring um make a little tail yeah you see that you make a little tail with that color out so you just want the uh, crease color to be nice and blended through so you have a nice transition from your bolder colors to this nice softer look all right so after that just blend that uh crease color out so you have a nice transition and everything's nice and blended so going back in with this mauve shade i use this shade in my daytime valentine's day tutorial and i'll have that one linked down in my description bar also but we are going for a soft romantic cut crease because you still want to look bold but at the same time you do want it to be softer not so harsh so start like open your eye and then you trace that little curve on your eye and then wing it out act like you're doing a wing on your lid but just do it above your crease and then you can see what I'm doing here <laughs> so I picked up a little bit on this m433 brush and then I'm just going to be directing directing blending right on top of that mauve color because if you bring it too up you lose the whole cut crease form form yeah you use the whole cut crease form of it so after that, just keep on packing on that color as much as you want. Extend that tail. And I'm just showing you here how you it, like match it up. Like if you were doing a wing, you would do it on your crease. All right. We're getting it done. Getting it done. Yes, girl. Yes. Okay. So moving on, we're going to be using Weenie from ColourPop. This is Kathleen Lights. Kathleen Lights. Yes. This is her Where the Night Is. You can purchase this individually. It's only $5. So just grab like a synthetic brush that I have here. This one is from Real Techniques. And start packing that onto the lid. Move from the base of your lid and then start bringing it upwards. You do not want to um, make this... You do kind of want to make this part harsh. And then later on you're going to blend it out with the mauve color. You'll see what I'm going with here when I'm explaining it to you. So I went ahead and wet it with Fix Plus. You can wet it with eye drops. That's way cheaper. It has the same properties as Fix Plus does. But you get the same effect. And make sure you bring that towards the wing part of the cut crease. So that everything is nice and cohesive. And it's all nice and good in the hood. Alright, so moving on. I'm just going to be using gel liner. This is the Maybelline gel liner in black. And then just pretty much starting like the base of the wing and filling it in. And then after I'm going to be using the NYC liquid liner in black also. Just to top it right on top of it. Top it on top of it. Yeah. Racks on racks on racks. Okay. <laughs> so after you got that done, everything is going to be freaking gorgeous. I promise you. Look at that. Like, uh, I love the way this turned out. I know this will be perfect for Valentine's Day. I don't have a Valentine right now because my husband is in basic training. But other than that, he's still my Valentine always. But I have no reason to get ready for Valentine's. Y'all know what I mean? I'm going to be at home with pizza. Okay. But anyways, moving on. Get some... Nevea Shave Balm, that's what I use as my primer. And then after that, get your foundation. And I have, I'll have everything listed up below. And this is my first time using this brush. I went ahead and bought some brushes for Morphe. Oh, girl, you going fast. Uh, <laughs> I went ahead and bought some brushes for Morphe. And this is so good. Now I know why everyone raves about this brush. It is freaking insane. It's a beauty blender in a brush. Okay, y'all understand what I'm going with here? So going with this M M M <laughs> MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I believe that's what it's called. This stuff is amazing. It is so high coverage. I, it's insane. I love it. I'm loving this coverage, honey. So I'm going in with this E8 brush from Morphe. This is a tiny beauty blender in a brush again. So... That's awesome because I do not have to wash my beauty blender every time I want to do my makeup. I mean, yeah, but now I got the option of using my brushes, you know. Just wash them once a week. Don't be gross, you know. So after we have all that done because that highlight is super light, <laughs> I'm just going to be blending out the edges with my foundation brush. No extra foundation, just the foundation that was already on there. And then setting my under eyes because we're going to be cream contouring. Yes, you see me getting excited there. <laughs> So I will have the number of this cream contour down below. This is the Maybelline Stick Foundation that I used in my earlier video also. But this is 
beautiful to give you a, such a nice beautiful natural look and effect and do not forget that double chin if you have one like me okay and then cover everything with translucent powder and i forgot to put my uh liquid illuminator on before that but it's okay it's okay we're putting it on later and it still looks freaking good so i'm just going to be bronzing with this morphe 9c contour palette that's what the C's for <laughs> and just doing like basic bronzing as you can see and then I'm mixing these two colors because if I don't I feel like it's a little too gray for me and just deepening that contour up as you see this brush is freaking bomb it is so good and I'm not gonna put the brushes really into detail if y'all want to know the brushes just leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to let y'all know so now after we have that all done, I'm just going to be blending with that same bronzer brush and then baking under because let's be honest, I get a little messy. I, what am I, who am I kidding? I get a lot of messy. <laughs> so I'm just going to be cleaning up that contour. So everything is nice and clean, letting that sit for a little bit and going ahead and moving on with my blush, just apply blush like normal. And then now we're doing our liquid illuminator from Sephora. This stuff is freaking bomb. So just apply it with your fingers and then blending it, blending it out with a little elf duo fiber brush, uh, stippling brush. I think that's what it's technically called. And then blend it out and look at this highlight. This is just that illuminator. Yes. 14 bucks. If you're looking for something natural, go with that. Now, going in with the color Bubbly from the ABH Glow Kit, I'm going to be using the M310 fan brush that Anne, Anne Reezy uses, and I can see why she's obsessed with it. I can definitely see why she's obsessed with it. And this is the M501 that Jacqueline uses. Yes, I got lots of stuff that everybody uses, but I can see what the hype is all about now. So just contouring my nose a little bit, and now cleaning up the bake. Our face is beat. It is beat. And I went ahead and applied Coco Gadget. Coco Goddess, Coco Goddess lashes, because I feel like y'all have seen me do this so many times before. I just went ahead and did it, and then going with this mauvey color all over again. Blend that onto your lower lash line, and don't be afraid to really bring this lower than usual because we are going to be going on top of it with black, so the black will cover the mauvey if you don't bring it down lower in your lower lash line y'all will get what i'm saying in a little bit so now going in with roulette my ride or die this freaking eyeshadow i use it as an eyeliner and it's awesome so i'm just going to be smoking my lower lash line out and then putting that into my waterline and then tight lining as you can see but just really focus on smoking it out after you have it lined up so i went ahead and went with, went in with like an angled brush to line it and then I started smoking it out and these are just two cheap brushes that you can get at Target there's the Sonia Kashuk one and then an elf one too and so really smoke it out to give you that nice and beautiful effect and don't forget to tight line this is what tight lining is so that you don't see like an empty space when you look up and it's all nice and cohesive and this shadow will not like if you have the oiliest greasy eyes this will not run down on your lids that's this is why I'm so freaking obsessed with it all right, so apply mascara to your lower lashes and go ahead and move in, moving on in with the lip liner. Um, I just personally like using lip liner before I put on any lipstick. That is just my preference. But these Ofra liquid lipsticks literally do not, seriously do not need it. I'm obsessed with them. So I'm putting on Mocha first and then I'm going to be putting on Sao Paulo right on top but more keeping it in the middle and then blending it out with my finger to give it a nice soft ombre effect and oh these are so gorgeous to do ombre with and then i went a little bit more with mocha to outline it more and just smudge my lips together and as you can see it is so beautiful now to give you that nice and beautiful look make sure to use a uh, concealer to really clean everything up and this freaking lip i was i ate like two straight up meals and I was good. I was set. So you will be good for Valentine's Day. Okay, I got you covered. So Ofra Liquid Lipsticks are the way to go. And then go ahead and set everything with Fix Plus or any other setting spray that you have in this highlight. Yes, yes. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. And do not forget to like and subscribe if y'all liked it. And I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.